Here comes the Colts offense now as they make their way onto the field. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something on first down. And it's something that's safe. It's something that's been done many times before. Okay. A lot of people say it's not even worth trying, but I'm running a draw. I'm running a screen. I'm seeing if something pops. And if it does, that can alter my strategy and potentially get me some points. And if it doesn't work, well, then you just run the clock out and go to the long point. He's got a man open. It's Cameron Meredith. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. Pick it up. Pick it up. On first and 10. Lock. This goes out right to Get him. Now the Colts will use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Play action. It's locked. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, Ooh. but not before he takes it inside the What 40. a play. It's a pickup of 17 and a what first down. What a play. Down. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. This officially a 55-yard attempt. Nope. And that is no And you still left me four seconds on the clock. See if I run something. So yes, they'll still be down going into intermission, but the deficit is now made if even I run smaller, something, very manageable. And it yeah, pops. If nothing haywire happens here in his last couple of precious seconds, they will go into the locker room with a nice bounce in their step, having gotten a little bit closer on the scoreboard. Well, this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Hey, watch the slant! Watch the slant! Whoa, whoa! Show it up! Good! The final shot before break here. Golf. Ball going deep here for Taylor. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. So we're at halftime with our score 7 6 in a tough fought first. Defensive down. battle. Who would have thunk send it? You down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. All right, Brandon. Thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first. Time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. We'll get started. And we will skip the highlight show this week. Get right back to this week three. All right, let's pound Todd Gurley a little bit here. He hasn't gotten any love. 65, 65, 65. <laughs> The third quarter starts with a run by Gurley. Probably because they got two middle linebackers that are good at tackling. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. Again, they run with Gurley. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 12 yards there and a first down. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. On first down, it's Gurley. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. And he'll be taken there we go, Henderson. He works it past Attaboy. the 50. Go, 11 yards there, first down. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. He's pounding him. This drive. Let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. They'll go back to Henderson on first down. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Pardon, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get him. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for him. Show him that you're supposed to get the football. And down yeah, baby. The 15, Let's just keep pounding him. Just keep pounding him. Don't let up. This one goes for 19 yards. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense, because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. Value three, value three. Henderson now on first and ten. 
And he'll get in the way. Add away. Daryl Henderson, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Rams add on to their lead. Solid job up front. Really just a solid job all the way around to get that one in. Yeah, that was well executed, wasn't it? Well blocked. That was well great run. blocking. End result, six points. Touchdown. Hmm. Mike's back. Check out. Line 80. Check curls, check curls, check curls. Run it up. Run it up. They begin the drive with Hines. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while, get at least two first downs, give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Now it's locked off the bootleg. Left side, Doyle with it. And they Man, that was a perfect route for that coverage, too. Field. Well, Doyle is putting in some work. That sure was pretty because the corner route is extremely difficult to defend from my perspective. What we just saw there, is that sort of the evolution of the tight end position? Yeah, I think it is. And a big loss here Add as away. he's taken down. Aaron Donald with a sack. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. Give them four yards there, but still in a big hole. Third and long. Third and 20. We got to take advantage of this. You couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it. Thank you. Third and long. It's long. Get him. At a boy, Corey Littleton. Corey Littleton able to get him down for a loss of 11. And it brings up fourth down. Well, this is what happens when you get behind the chains, as people like to say, when you have obvious passing situations, hard to vary it up and fool a defense. And you hate those situations if you're an O-lineman, right? Oh, without a doubt, because you just know they're coming, and you never know exactly how. They can be exotic in their blitzes, or their athletic ability just takes over. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. Nope. And he didn't quite have the back spin on that one. It hits a little it to bit too much. And continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. So now here are the Rams as their offense comes back out. And it's a unit last drive that did it all on the ground, Charles. And they controlled it from the interior. Big on big, right? Offensive lineman versus defensive lineman. But you know, in order to keep the football moving downfield, other people have to get involved as well. Your wide receivers, your tight ends, lead runners, anything that you have possible to get in front and keep the ball moving. And now the defense may be looking for a pass coming up. They'll stick to the ground game with Gurley. And oh! He's got room. Todd Gurley, wave goodbye. Pass the 20. 10. Touchdown. Oh! Todd Gurley, his second touchdown on the season. And the Rams. And on to their lead. I don't even know how I broke out. Massively increased his production in this game, and now he's over 100 yards. And break out your calculator, partner, because his yards per carry went up it's significantly, right? Big time jaunt all the way to the end zone. Zerline connects on the extra point, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. The quick strike ability certainly intact there. Two plays, 80 yards to score it. Oh, that's dope. That is dope. All right, I got some breathing room now. Now we can play a little loose on defense. Take a little more chances. On first down, Rock. And this is a complete right side to Funches. 
And they're able to get this one across the 35. On, nice go. way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. Now what? Over the middle, that's caught by Meredith. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Fired that one in there. Able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger than they do an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it. And he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. Back now in Indianapolis. It's the Colts, so they've got the football, but they've got work to do trailing here as we begin the fourth quarter. Let's go, D. Lock on first down. They'll try and oh, a screen, a screen. screen. Attaboy, Eva Camp. Down at the 48. A pick up yeah. Way to hustle, Start way to hustle. 48-yard line and end it at the other. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackle. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. The Colts on third down, two for five to this point. This will be third and six. Now it's locked. And that is oh. incomplete. There defensively was John Johnson to knock it free. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Throwing his lock. And that is caught. Nice. He's got his running back nice down play. Field. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure. Under pressure, nice. and he'll go down. Sacked back in the, the zone. 31. He's in the zone. Aaron Donald, his second sack of the night. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Lux throw, finding T.Y. Hilton complete. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender. And that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. From the red zone now, Locke. Throw left side, taken in by Meredith. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. The completion good for three, and it's second down. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Here we go. Here we go. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. It's third down and six. Throwing on third down. Lock. And it's caught. And he won't have the touchdown, he but he got will it. have the first down as he's tackled at the two. They're wasting way they're too much to time. They can eat what? Two scores? First and goal. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. You're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to four two-minute offense. And that is caught. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Colts are able to draw a bit closer. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet 
or they just executed better. Because they had two previous drives that ended in field goals before this one, they finally were able to put into the end zone. Well, whatever he did, speaking of the offensive coordinator, might be using that formula going forward. It worked there. Yeah, it works very well. He and his field general in pretty good sync right now. They're starting to move the ball well. Goskowski with the extra point as this gets him back within a touchdown and a two-point conversion. So that drive spans 13 plays. And They're only up eight points. An Indianapolis touchdown. This is taken at his four. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. And our attention shifts to Todd Gurley. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a back, because that means everything's coming together for you. The big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. you probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block. But they're helping out, too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. That good for 19 and a first down. With that run... Double check my math. Yes, he he has hit 8,000 career rushing yards. And that's fantastic. That means he's now approaching the top 50 all-time rushers in NFL history. That means he just sped past Terrell Davis, who's in the Hall of Fame. And now he's just got to go ahead and be strong and run hard because he's chasing down Larry Zonka. Offensively <laughs> with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Yeah, think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this. Where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for, and make sure that they're still attacking, yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. That's going to be complete to his tight end. Ever. Too easy. Too easy. There as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. With that grab, he now sits at 200 for his career, and maybe more importantly, a first down. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as a blitz coming in. Ah, I was going to hit Gurley out the backfield. Boom! That's how we do it. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one score game. So it's Rams football here as we get your reset. Now I gotta play it safe. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. They run out of the shotgun with Gurley. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ball game. Now this is a big third down and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Another carry now for Gurley. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Oh, yeah. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here. To oh, no, he missed. He missed. They'll look to throw. Completes this one to Meredith. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Now the Colts moving quickly here in the hurry up offense. Back to throw. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Doyle. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. Back to throw. Sometimes it's hard to figure, but you can live with incompletions in this situation. You can't oh, live with Marcus these Peters short wanted to take one. time off the clock. You know who loves it? This defense. And he's unable to haul it in. So it falls incomplete over the middle third of the field. And that brings up fourth. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. He's back to throw. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. He'll look to throw. 
And oh, oh a there as it's intercepted. Picked off by the Pro Bowler, Marcus Peters. A big seam, and he might go all the way. And he'll take this I think there was holding after the play. Now, hold on foul. here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this what? is about. Well, no. You're leading in the fourth quarter. That's not the penalty you want. Not at all. And now you're disappointed. Man, I can't believe that just happened. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. Now it's Locke. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Now the Colts will use they need they need seven. They need to go deep. As they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game. 58, right over there. Yeah, yeah. Mike, 58. They got no timeouts. He gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Game's over. Well, Charles, they were close in the end, but they Man, didn't get that, that penalty. Last play, that, last <laughs> that penalty brought back they that INT. Striking distance, but couldn't find a way to score. They definitely had hope. They definitely had opportunity. Just unable to cash in at the end. Not an easy play by any stretch, but they definitely had a chance. So for Los Angeles, it's an ideal start as they move to 3 0 now on the young season. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for Indianapolis, they suffer defeat for the first time as they drop to 2 1. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody. Okay, pulled out the victory. Happy about it. Corey Littleton. I still got Kettner Cup on my team. Damn. Totally forgot about him. Uh-oh, Robert Woods is unhappy again. I'll get him involved. Do some scouting again. We have two first round picks. One of them is in the. Uh, we're projected to get the number one overall pick. We better. Um, we better scout these high level people. I'm 
I'm telling you. All right, let's play the Falcons, I suppose. Next game on our list. We got to remember to get Robert Woods involved. Matching hundreds. Hello, everyone. I'm Jonathan Coachman. This is Madden NFL Football on EA Sports. Coming up, we'll see teams with a couple of running backs who each went over 100 yards a weekend to go. As it'll be the Atlanta Falcons taking on the Los Angeles Rams. I'll be back at halftime to look at some of these stats and scores from Sunday's action. But for now, it's Monday Night Football. And to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Coach, thank you much. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the City of Angels, Los Angeles, California. A few short moments ago, running back Todd Gurley trying to fire up the Ram faithful here in Southern California as his guys get set to do battle with Matt Ryan and the Atlanta Falcons. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Rams team as they interplay. They've got to be pleased with the start to this season, obviously. A perfect 3-0. Three good quality wins, too. It's got people in the locker room excited. They're thinking that this could be their year. Meanwhile, for the visiting Falcons, they, too, were winners last time out. So something's got to give here. And I love it when both teams come in off of wins. Great mindsets, and it usually leads to a really well-played game. It's 3-0 versus 2-1, and one, a good early season battle as we're underway in week four. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. They're led onto the field by the former Cal Bear and the number one overall pick in 2016, Jared Goff. And it felt like it watching the game tape. He got everyone involved last week. He know? was a manager. He really was. That's a great way to put it because they ran the ball some. They threw it accurately. One touchdown pass. So he didn't, you know, break the bank doing that. But he didn't throw any interceptions. That's the bottom line. That's why a defense loves a quarterback like that. Doesn't put them in bad mm. situations. Slow ground. 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 Check the DC. DC. Here's the first carry now for Todd Gurley. And not much. Maybe a yard up to the 29. Is that KZ, number 27? The headshots here are the offensive unit. And what about Brandon Cook? Oh, look at that big old left tackle in the center. I love it. Came out of college wanting to be a pro. Studied all the best receivers in the NFL before he even got to the league. I don't think you got it, sir. On second and nine, Goff. And the open receiver, it's Robert Woods. We got to get Woods Woods involved today. Not before they work it across midfield. 23 yards to pick up there. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Nice. Nice play, Hodge. 18 and a first down. Nice play. It's a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain. You got to watch out for number 45, though. 
And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. Now a second down mm. throw for the end zone. But I'll accept that. So the pass incomplete in the end zone, but contact and pass interference. And now where does the ball get placed? Yeah, at the one yard line. One yard line. They gave up excellent real estate on that one. That's going to work really, really well for the guys who threw it. Merlin, Merlin. Watch the twist. Let's go. They'll try and push it in with Gurley. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Nice play right there to stop him behind. Who the was line. that guy? He just whipped both of my linemen in here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the Check ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you buy him in at varying levels. And it's caught for a Rams touchdown by Brandon Cooks. Brandon Cooks, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Rams are going to take a first quarter lead. And the QB rating right now is sky high. Four for four on that opening drive, and it ends with a touchdown pass. Yeah, I don't know quite how to figure it out. I think I need my friends from MIT to come in and help me. <laughs> I think 158.3 is... All right, defense, let's get a stop. Or at least hold him to three. Nice. 